guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a bath and body works haul this is like kind of a collective haul because i did shop sas and i also shopped some sales that were available during sas i call this a collective haul because it's not all from sas but it was all purchased during the sas time enough with my rambling i actually got two bags this is, was like my body care bag and then this giant bag is all my body sprays, which I was not planning on getting these many body sprays. It just kind of happened because I traded in some like used fragrance mists. I did not know you could do this, but I saw it on TikTok. Uh, if there's like a fragrance mist or lotion or any fit product from Bath & Body Works that like you've used a little bit of or like less than half of, you can just like bring it back without a receipt and pick out, like exchange it for a same item. So like if there's a body mist you don't like, you can bring it and get a different scented body mist. Let's get on to the body care first, and then I'm gonna show the fragrance mist. So the first body care item that I got, this was part of the SAS for me, um, is Strawberry Pound Cake. I think they're just reformulating the body creams. This smells so delicious. If you like gourmand scents, which you guys will notice that that's kind of like my thing is gourmand, and I also like perfumey scents. Those are like my two categories. This scent is so good. It literally smells like cake. If you guys have ever eaten strawberry cream cheese? I love strawberry cream cheese, but like, I know a lot of people don't. To me, this smells like strawberry cream cheese. It smells really good, highly recommend. Second thing I picked up was also part of SAS. This is, as you can see, the body lotion um, of Pear Crème Brûlée. This just smells like, I saw someone on YouTube talk about this and describe it. I wish I could remember who so I could credit them, but they were like, this smells like literally the top of the creme brulee and honestly it does like that's literally exactly what it smells like i don't really smell pear i just smell like caramelized sugar that's literally what i smell this is a very good base layering for like any of my gourmand scents that i don't have the matching lotion to i am very happy that i purchased this the next thing i purchased is the small travel size of whipped berry meringue everybody knows this is kind of like a repackaging for cotton candy clouds which also came out during sas but for some reason, this does not smell the same as Cotton Candy Clouds to me. Everyone says it's like a repackaging. I get it, but like, I think there's something a lot more whipped creamy about this one. This one has that like bakery added thing to it that Cotton Candy Clouds does not have to me. Wish I could have found it in the full size, but by the time I went to my store, they only had the travel size, so I got it. The next thing I picked up during SAS, I actually ordered this online because I think this scent was an online exclusive, was Berry Waffle Cone in the Body Cream. Love it. I also got it in the Body Spray, which I'll show you guys in a sec. Funny story is when I actually first ever purchased this scent, I purchased it last year in the old packaging in like the travel size body spray. And the only reason I purchased it was because I was walking around the mall with my friends like smelling the scents at Bath & Body Works and I smelled it and I was like, oh my God, this smells just like tapioca pearls, like in taro boba. And I was like, I love taro boba. So that's why I got it. So to me, it still kind of smells like that. I think the new packaging, it smells a little different than the older packaging. Not in a bad way though, just like different, but the old packaging, like when I smell that, I just smell like taro boba tea, like with the mix of like the tapioca brown sugar and like in the actual boba and then like the taro milk tea like that is what this smells like to me like that is what that should be named the next thing i got was the into the night body cream again i love body creams this scent is very mature in comparison to the other scents i've been showing um i do like perfumey scents for like night outs this one just smells really good to me i love the like mocha musk scent in this i can't really go on and on about this because this has kind of been around for a while and i feel like everyone knows what this smells like if you don't go to the store and smell it it's kind of a grown-up scent to be honest i wouldn't give this to somebody under the age of like 17. The next thing I got was during SAS as well. This is the Sugared Snickerdoodle Body Wash. This stuff smells super good. To me, I get cookie. I get kind of like a spice, but it's not cinnamon spice. It is truly like what a Snickerdoodle spice smells like. And then just like straight up brown sugar. Um, I purchased it because I knew that during Christmas time, I would want a Christmassy scent that is like my favorite thing ever is like fall and winter time, like bath and shower routines. I am obsessed with those videos, but I think I'm going to save the rest of it for the winter time because I know 
If I don't, I will go and buy full price items at Bath & Body Works when I should not be doing that, when I literally got this on sale and should use it up. The last body care item I got was the Cinnamon Donut Swirl from the Fun Fair Collection. I love the way this smells. I don't smell any cinnamon, so if that's something that you are not a fan of, you will still be fine with this. This just smells like funnel cake honestly and i think that is what it should have been called instead of cinnamon donut squirrel especially fun fair like there's not donuts at the fair there's funnel cakes come on like everything down to the fried dough to the powdered sugar on top everything it smells like a traditional funnel cake but it just smells perfect for summer it's a good transition scent as well if you're trying to transition into more of the fall time like around august september like you're trying to start using up your more sweet and like pumpkin spice scent if they still have some left at your store you should pick them up okay so that's all for my body care and now i'm gonna do my fragrance mist i'm gonna go faster with this one because some of them i got in the um body care and i already talked about the scents so i'm just gonna show them to you and then if i didn't already talk about the scent i'll give a brief overview so I actually per picked this up yesterday. I love In The Stars. It smells very perfumey. It's kind of like musky and like mature with some vanilla, some like dark amber. Yeah, it's just amazing. Like you should get this. I think this is a very good everyday scent. I'll probably wear this a lot to work. It can also be a going out scent, but it's kind of like mild in comparison to Into The Night, but it kind of is in the same vibe where it's like mature, grown up like you're put together this would be like my day scent and then into the night would be the night scent obviously by the title i also picked up the strawberry pound cake in during one of the 5.95 body care sales uh, this is actually a backup i already own it we all know i love this scent i don't need to talk about it i already talked about it i love this scent it's great you should get it I picked up Fairy Tale yesterday when I was exchanging um, an old scent that I had and got this for literally free. So that's bargain to me. This smells exactly like YSL Libre. Libre? Don't know how to say it, but it smells exactly like that. So if you like that perfume, which I have been wanting to buy that perfume for so long, but I want the intense version personally because it's more vanillic. This smells like the original, but it's again, it could be an everyday scent. It's very unique. I don't think that many people smell like this. It also gives me Taylor Swift vibes, which, you know, I'm always down for that. The next thing I picked up yesterday when I exchanged a scent was Blueberry Sugar Pancakes, which is part of the new fall release. This smells amazing. I wore it last night. I wore it to today i am obsessed with it it smells kind of like just like warm doughy pancake with like some blueberry syrup i think this is a great transition from like summer to fall and in fall because i think blueberries and like that kind of light scent is very summery but then you have like the like pancake and cakey syrupy scent which is perfect for fall so love this scent so happy i got it i also picked up into the night this is the new packaging this was not part of sas but this was during the 5.95 body mist sale i don't need to talk about it because i already talked about it amazing love it can't wait to wear it the next Next thing I picked up was during the SAS. This is Vanilla Confetti Sparkle, aka Confetti Cake Pop. This literally smells like buttercream frosting. I don't really smell much cake. I smell literally like you went to Publix and you got the buttercream frosting. You opened it, smelled it, and that is this. That is literally this. So if you want to smell like that, get this. I think this will be a perfect layering piece with any pumpkin scent during the fall. I did not buy a backup, which I probably should have, but I'm fine. I'll be fine. I have a lot, so love this the next thing i got when i traded in my body mist yesterday was marshmallow pumpkin latte i smelled this in the store this is very pumpkin spice latte but i do think okay if i mix this with vanilla confetti sparkle you could get like a spice pumpkin cupcake which i know they have that scent but it's an online an online exclusive and i don't want to pay for shipping so just not gonna have it definitely too early in the year to wear it right now when like september 15th like mid-september starts hitting i will be whipping this out the next thing i picked up during sas was sunset glow this smells so good i saw some people saying it's like a dupe for the sol de janeiro bum bum cream like spray to me it smells a lot like it but it's not exactly the same it's kind of like a florally beachy scent um it says it has like coconut i do get the coconut fresh coconut sparkling cherry seltzer dreamy moonflower oh dreamy moonflower that's what i'm getting 
The next thing I picked up during SAS was Berry Waffle Cone. I talked about her already. Ooh, the spray. Okay, so the spray smells like taro boba tea like I was talking about. It's delicious, I love it. Once I told my friends that and I had them smell it, they were like, oh my God, you're so right. I also picked up A Thousand Wishes during SAS. Um, they changed the packaging, so this is the old packaging. This is just a classic scent. Everyone kind of knows how this smells. Again, this is kind of like an everyday perfumey scent. It lasts a super long time. I just wanted to pick it up because I used to have it in my collection and then I decluttered it and then I regretted decluttering it. So I picked it up again. It has a little bit of that champagne scent, but it's not a lot because I don't really like too much bubbly scents. To me, it just smells like sweet, a little bubbly like rose i don't know i smell like floral and a little bit of musk i don't know i'm really bad at explaining notes but this smells really good i also hauled snowflakes and cashmere during sas this is like the muskiest body spray i've ever smelled this just smells like straight up musk but in a good way like in a sweet way sometimes musk scents are kind of like sweet in the body sweat way which i don't like this is sweet in like a warm like cozy sweater kind of way i think this is kind of like a cuddle up scent the projection's not great so this is more like i'm cuddling with my boo or i'm going to bed don't worry guys we're nearing the end i think i only have two more but i also got pink chiffon i actually got this on vacation and was pairing it with a thousand wishes and it smelled so good i feel like it sweetened up a thousand wishes but then added a boozy note to pink chiffon. Like it was amazing. I don't really have a lot to explain about this perfume, this scent. If it wasn't on SAS, I probably would not have purchased it. I'm gonna be honest, not because I don't like it, but just because it kind of is generic. So if you kind of are looking for like that everyday like work scent or just like throw in your car, throw in your backpack, throw in your purse scent, this would definitely be it for me. This is like by the book, probably the number one one you should get. Yeah, love it, very good. So the last thing I hauled was this travel size of the sugared snickerdoodle. I would have got the full size, but I couldn't find it. So I just got this when I saw it. In the spray, you can smell more of the coconut. I think there's like coconut. Is there coconut in this? No, but to me, it smells coconutty. I don't know. I feel I have in my brain an image, okay, of pairing sugared snickerdoodle with coconut cream pie during the winter and fall. I feel like that is a bomb combo and I cannot wait to try it cause I get a coconut scent in the body spray. I don't know why, but I do. I don't know, the body wash is definitely more on the snickerdoodle spice scent. This is like coconut and like just sugar and cookie. Anyways, that's all for my haul. I would like to say my mother did purchase a lot of this for me when we were on vacation and I hauled some stuff at the Bath and Body Works New Year Vacationing. She purchased it for me, so thank you to my mom. Um, I also got like three of these body sprays from Exchanging Older Body Mists. And then the rest I just purchased myself, but I'm very thankful that I'm able to afford to haul stuff like this. Again, this was a collective haul from the past like one and a half months. So I did not go out in one day and buy all this. I could not afford to do that, but, but anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and let me know any other videos you'd like to see me do in the future. I have a couple planned, but just let me know if you have any suggestions and I hope you have a great day. Bye.